Hey there, gophers! Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're diving into a powerful feature in Go that can make your development workflow smoother and more efficient – build tags. Imagine you're working on a project with multiple environments – development, staging and production. You might use dummy data in development, but real user data in production. You need a way to ensure your builds only include the relevant code for each environment, right? There could be a scenario where you're working on a Go project that runs on multiple operating systems. Some features might be different on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Instead of writing complex logic within your code, Go allows you to separate platform-specific code into different files using build tags. Let's see how the tags work. Here we have a simple application. In the main file, we have declared the environment as a variable. In the main function, we simply print the environment. Build tags provide a quick and easy way to manage environment-specific configurations in our projects. We will create separate files for different environments. Let's create main underscore staging dot go for staging environment. The first line has to be the build constraint also known as a build tag. We define it like this. It tells the Go compiler to include this file only when we use the staging tag during the build process. Next up, we define the package, which is main. Now, let's create the init function. The init function in Go is automatically called before the main function. We can have multiple init functions across different files, and Go will execute them based on the tags we pass while creating the build. Inside the init function, we're setting the environment to the string staging. This means that whenever we use this build, the environment configuration will be set to staging. You can use this variable throughout the application to change behavior based on the environment. For example, you might connect to a different database, enable debugging, or use a different set of credentials depending on the environment. Similarly, let's create a file for production environment. Let's build for these environments. Now we will build this program for the staging environment. Here is the executable. Let's run it. It prints the environment here, which is staging. Now we will build for the production environment. It works for the production environment as well. Let's see how we can combine the environment tag with operating system tag. We will declare a variable OS here. We add a print to display the operating system in the main function. Next, we will add init functions for Linux and Windows. The tag is Linux and here we set OS to Linux. This file is for the Windows operating system. Let's build with two tags now. We can add more tags with comma as the separator. Let's add Linux to the tags. Now, when we run, it prints the environment and the operating system. Actually, we don't have to specify the operating system in the tags. Golang detects it automatically from GoOS environment variable. We can combine tags in the same way as we would do in any programming language. Let's specify the architecture of the processor. We have added ARM64 here with and condition with Linux. This file will be included in the build if both these conditions are satisfied. Let's try this. Here, it does not print the OS as my machine is not ARM. Now, if we change this condition to OR, it will print Linux. It works. Now let's look at some practical use cases of build tags. 
Use build tags to control which configurations are included, such as using mock services or dummy data in development while connecting to live services in production. Exclude files that are incompatible with certain operating systems or architectures. For example, you might exclude a file that uses Windows-specific APIs when building for Linux. Use build tags to exclude certain files from testing or to include integration tests only in specific environments, such as when running tests within a Docker container or CI-CD pipeline. If you're interested in diving deeper into more advanced scenarios, such as integrating build tags with Docker or CI-CD pipelines, feel free to explore further. And remember to keep experimenting to see how build tags can simplify your development workflow. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new Go tutorial. Until next time, happy coding!